We'll just receive it after a while. How about that? <laughs> he, he don't have the offering bags that's out, so that's my fault. This offering will go for our speaker tonight. If you want to write a check, you can write it at Lafayette Pentecostal Church of God, and then we'll write one check to him. But let's stand tonight. And those of you that are up here, if you'd like to give toward this offering, you can put it in the basket when you go down, and we appreciate your giving. Amen. How many knows we can't outgive the Lord? Amen. Let's just lift our hands toward heaven and thank Him for this opportunity to come and worship Him tonight. God, we are truly blessed and thankful. God, for this opportunity, Lord, just to come in here and to lift you up. We know the grave couldn't hold you. Oh, God, we thank you tonight for the resurrection. But, God, before the resurrection, Lord, the death and the burial of our Lord and Savior, God, we come celebrating you and thanking you for laying down your life that we might be free tonight. Father, we give you honor and praise and glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you tonight. Amen. Let's worship him. Amen. Remain standing as we open with this old hymn at Calvary.
that we might become his righteousness he humbled himself and carried the cross love so amazing love so
You can be seated tonight. The choir has a couple of songs for you this, this evening. This first song is an old song that the McCameys used to sing. It says, Who put the tears in the eyes of the Lamb? <laughs> sings the song, The Middleman.
sing that chorus with us again, church. I love that man in the middle because I know he cares for me. Praise to the man who died on Mount He didn't die because he was weak. He didn't die because he had sin, but he died for my sin and your sin. The Bible says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. When I shook my fist at him and said, leave me alone, he was still willing to bleed and die for my sin. Aren't you thankful for that tonight? Can we give him another hand clap of praise? Hallelujah, Lord, we bless you. Lord, we thank you tonight. Oh, hallelujah, for willingly laying down your life. The Bible says they could have called a legion of angels, but thank God he didn't tonight. No longer do we have to make a sacrifice, but he became that one and only sacrifice for you and I tonight. And if you know him tonight, you know true, genuine freedom. Amen. Aren't you thankful for that middle man on the cross? Amen. Amen. Brother Doug and Sister Faye and Brother Tim is going to come and bless us in a couple songs. And then Brother Doug's going to minister tonight. Uh, the last time they're here, I'll let them tell the story. But if you want to tell about the last time you're here, but it's been a few days, a few gray hairs ago, many days ago. <laughs> well, he lost his, mine got gray. So anyway, if you guys want to come, let's give them and the Lord a hand clap tonight.
I got it. All right. How many is tired of the devil? Yeah. Amen. What is today? Good Friday. Has anything good ever happened in your life? Amen. Has anything ever good happened in your life? Amen. The best thing that ever happened to me is a day that Jesus took my sins to Calvary. That's the best thing that ever happened to me. This I wanted to say this morning because I'm used to preaching in the morning. So if I say morning church, just bear with me. Amen. But I want to I want to thank uh, Pastor Chris for uh, having trust to share his pulpit with me, and I want to thank you all for having us, inviting us down. Thank his wife. Amen for the good sound that she has, you know, the it's it what she does. See, we don't see what happens in the background. I mean, what what we what the pastor does to prepare, you know, for a message. We don't see that. But I know it because I have to. Amen, and when I get calls uh to come, you know, to our sister churches, I'm I'm thinking within myself, I'm thinking 
well, I do well to keep up with what I got. <laughs> but then God speaks to me, no, you'll go, you'll go. And I thank God for what he's doing, amen, in the church. Amen. I thank God for those that's going to stand up for truth and not back down. Don't you thank God for those? Amen. How many know what the devil come to do? He come to kill, steal, and destroy. And you know what? He's looking to steal the church's joy. But I got news for him. I'm keeping mine. Amen. I might face battles, but I still have joy. Amen. I still have the joy, the joy of the Lord. But tonight, if I could, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about Good Friday. About, and it, I, I like to call it this right here, Good Friday Opener. Good Friday Opener. Amen. And then the question would be, what's good about Friday? I just about give it to you. <laughs> yeah, I love you, Pastor. I love you, Pastor. And I, I just love God's people all together. I love you. But it, the thing is, the question would be, what's good about Friday? Amen? Number one, Jesus, when he was up in the garden... And we're going to go to some scripture, don't. But Jesus, when he went to the garden to pray with the disciples, amen, he was betrayed with a kiss. What's good about Friday? Amen. He was arrested, he was put on trial, he was denied. By one of the very ones that hung with him. And he was not only denied by one that hung with him. But he was betrayed by one. Amen. So Good Friday opens up like this right here. Peter denies. Judas commits suicide. Jesus is condemned. Jesus is mocked by the Romans. Simon of Cyrene compelled to carry the cross. Jesus dies. What's good about Friday? <laughs> oh, I'm feeling the Holy Ghost running all up and down my spine. What's good about Friday? It was Good Friday, church. It was Good Friday. Jesus was crucified at the place of skull or Calvary. After being flogged, after being whipped, uh, he was nailed to the cross, amen, through his hands and feet. So what is good about Friday? <laughs> I got so used to standing still that I, if I take off, don't, don't pay me no mind. Amen. But what's good about Friday? Is Good Friday a happy or a sad day? Is it a happy or a sad day? Church, it's a sad day of mourning as Christians commemorate the crucifixion of Jesus. So why is it called Good Friday? The term good, I searched this out, the term good as applied here to Good Friday, is an old English expression meaning holy. Meaning holy. Therefore, it's often called Holy Friday also. Not only Good Friday, but Holy Friday. Amen. Y'all with me? Amen. Get a hold of this. But here it is, church. God spoke to my heart, what's good about Friday? Good Friday is, it is a prelude to Easter Sunday. It's, it's, it's what's coming. Amen. Not a, I don't want to get on a, a Easter sermon because I know your pastor's got one for that. Amen. Amen. 
But what's good about Friday is it's a prelude to Easter Sunday, which is the resurrection of Jesus Christ, uh, which is a call for a joyful celebration. And then therefore, it is good because Jesus, if He had not died, uh, we would be in trouble. Amen. If Jesus had not died, we would have been in trouble. So therefore, I thank God for Good Friday. Amen. If it hadn't have been for Good Friday, church, there would have been no resurrection. There would have been no resurrection. He had to die. He had to. That he could rise again. On Easter Sunday. Amen. Prophecy was being fulfilled on Good Friday. Isaiah 53rd chapter. I want to read a little bit of that. Amen. 53rd chapter of Isaiah. Verses 3 through 5. The Bible says he is despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised. We esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded on Good Friday. He was wounded for my transgressions. He was wounded for our transgressions. Uh, He was bruised for our iniquities. Uh, The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Uh, That's why, that's why Good Friday is good. Because he bore my sin. What I couldn't do, he bore it. Amen. Amen. All right. Luke 9th chapter, 22nd verse. Jesus said, saying, The Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and chief priests and scribes uh, and be slain and be raised again the third day. That's what's good about Friday. Amen. That's what's good about Friday. What's good about Friday? I'm going to tell you. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever would believeth in Him would not perish but ever have everlasting life. That's what's good about Friday. Hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Thank God for Good Friday. Amen. What's good about Friday? God's redemptive plan for fallen man began to unfold right then and right there on that day. Amen? That's what's good about Friday. I told the wife, I said, when uh, we were coming down here to preach, I went into my little study. I got a little study there at home. And I walk into that little study... And I begin to pray and I begin to think. And God begins to speak. Don't you like that those times, Brother Black? Hey Amen. When you when you get off to yourself with God and God begins to speak. And as he's speaking to me, he said, As my plan is unfolding, as my plan was unfolding. He spoke to me, it's good to have a plan. I've got a plan. And you know what? I'm following it. God's plan. That's what's good about Friday. 
God looked down through time and seen fallen man and he seen that man could not find his way back uh, to him without a way. So he had to prepare the way and that's how he was doing it. On Good Friday, he began to pave the road to heaven back to God with the blood of the precious Lamb of God. That day upon Calvary's cross, what is good about Friday? Jesus! Hallelujah! Woo! <laughs> oh. He paved the way back. Ain't you glad for that? Ain't you glad for that? And you know why? He did it. Even when I was in my sins and trespasses, when we were in our sins and trespasses, He made the way and it began to unfold there on that day, Good Friday. I mean, I could go through the trials. He went through two trials. He went through a trial uh, with one of the kings, and then the, the one king sent him back to Pontius Pilate, and he went through another trial there. And then he was condemned to die. Barabbas was released. He was condemned to die. But you know what? We say that he turned an old sinner loose that day. Barabbas got set free. Amen. Whether we realize it or not, Jesus died for Barabbas' sins also. Amen. Praise the Lord. You think about that. What's good about Friday? Hallelujah. It's always good to have a plan. It's always good to have a plan, and God had the best plan of all. And I thank God for the plan that He laid out. That whosoever, and ain't you thanking God that you was a whosoever one day, amen, when you heard the voice of God, you came to Him on that day, you believed that He sent His Son to die for you in place of you and your sins. Uh, he took your place. Uh, he paid a debt that none of us could pay that day. And it was a good Friday payday. <laughs> Hallelujah. A good Friday payday. Hallelujah. That just fell out. <laughs> I'm about to shout over that one. <laughs> Woo. Amen. So God had a plan, church. And guess what? That plan was way back longer than you think. Come on now. That plan was way back longer than we think, Pastor. Amen. Ephesians chapter 1. I'm going to try to make it, you know, compact at all. But you can read it in there. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 through 5. For He chose us in Him before the creation of the world. So He had a plan. That Good Friday plan was way back. Hey Amen. It was way back. And he, he made that plan for each and every one of us that's sitting in the house tonight. So he chose us before the creation of the world. In love he predestined us. Hey Amen. In love he predestined us. Get that right here in love and let it go in here in love he predestined us before the foundation of the world in his son Jesus Christ uh, adopting us uh, and making his making us his sons and daughters hallelujah hallelujah he did it way back then amen I thank God for what he did amen so then, I ask you again, what's good about Friday? What's good about Friday? Well, the plan of salvation was beginning to be revealed. That's what's good about Friday. A way for you and I 
brother, to find our way back to the Father's house. That's what's good about Friday. Amen. And what's good about Friday is a prelude to the finale. Easter Sunday. Amen. That's what's good about Friday. Look what's coming. Sunday. So, I told the pastor Black, I told him, I says, now listen. I learned from the best. <laughs> he said, what's that? I learned how to go, and, and when God's Spirit brings it down, shut up. I learn. We learn. We grow. We're never, we're never above learning and growing. If we are, then, you know. But I thank God tonight for Good Friday. Amen. I thank God when he rode down the mountain on a donkey. You know what that represented? I come in peace. I come in peace. Jesus came in peace. And I thank God that I got a hold of that peace tonight. I thank God that on Good Friday, it became fulfilled. Amen. Whenever I reach out, to, amen, when he hung his head and said, it is finished. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. To me, he is so wonderful. To me, he is so wonderful. To me, he is so wonderful. Man, amen. Thank God for Good Friday. He looked down through time and he's seen each and every one of us. Amen. And he says, I'm going to pay the debt for you. I'm going to pay the debt for you. Good Friday opener. I thank God for it this morning. Let's all stand, or this evening. I told you. How many want what God wants? Brother Dan, if you listen this morning. Or this morning. Listen this evening. God knows what I mean, but, and you all know what I mean. You know us. Us preachers, us pastors, we get beside ourselves and we don't know whether we're coming or going a lot of times. <laughs> Amen, pastor. <laughs> Amen. But listen, tonight, God loves you. Good Friday was for you and I. Amen. The crucifixion took place. The blood had to be shed. The perfect Lamb of God. Amen. Without spot, blemish. When we were yet in our sins and trespasses, He died for our sin. That's how much He loved us. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you're here this morning, this evening, and you want to come and pray, come and pray. If you want to be anointed with oil, I'm sure your pastor, I'll get down there, we'll pray over you with oil. We believe in the prayer of faith, saving the sick. Amen. So let him that is sick among you call for the elders of the church, anointing them with oil. Listen, would you come this morning or this evening? Listen, God loves you this morning.
on which the Prince of glory died. My richest gain I count but loss and poor contempt on all my pride. Oh, the wonderful cross. Oh, the wonderful cross bids me come and die and find that I might truly live. Oh, the wonderful cross, oh, the wonderful cross, all who gather here by grace draw near and bless your name. Oh, the wonderful cross, oh, the wonderful cross bids me come and die and find that I may truly live. Oh, the wonderful cross, oh, the wonderful cross, all who gather here by grace draw near and bless your name. Just suppose God searched through heaven and could not find one willing to be the supreme sacrifice. That was needed to buy eternal life for you and me. Oh, had it not been for a place called Mount Calvary, had it not.
I'm so glad he was willing to drink his bitter cup. Although he prayed, Father, let it pass from me. I'm so glad he didn't call heaven's angels from my hands pull these nails that torment me oh I did not bend for a place called Mount Calvary had it not Amazing grace, 
how sweet the Can we stand and sing it tonight before we close? Come on. Hallelujah. Like me. Thank you, Jesus. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. My chains are gone. My chains are gone. I've been saved. Savior has ransomed me, and my cup blood His mercy brings unending love, amazing grace. Sing that again, my chains are gone. Are you thankful tonight those chains are gone? The chains of sin, the chains of bondage have been broken. If it wasn't for Friday, we wouldn't be free tonight. Amen. Praise God. Thank you for coming out tonight. Remember, service begins at 1030 Sunday morning, not 10, but we begin at 1030. And we will not have Sunday night service this Sunday. So remember that. Let's bow our heads to be dismissed. Yes. Choir practice tomorrow morning at 9.30. So remember that, choir members. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you tonight, God, for every song that's been sung and every word that's been spoken. But most of all, we thank you again, Lord, for the greatest gift ever given to mankind, the death, burial, and resurrection of your son, Jesus. And, Lord, we're truly blessed and truly thankful for that tonight. And, God, we give you praise and honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you tonight. Amen. As the mob cries through